Simon. Mr Speaker, if we were living on Fantasy Island, that contribution from Eugenie Sage would have been absolutely appropriate. But actually we're not. The plane. That's right, the plane. But actually we're not. We're living in the real world, not in the green vacuum. Sir, and this legislation and this minister, if we are to accept criticism, and we do accept some criticism from across the floor, but if the criticism of this bill is that this, will, this is moving too fast and this will have things happening too fast, sir, then I say we welcome that criticism. Because there are hundreds, if not thousands, of New Zealanders who are queuing up wanting land, wanting to build or buy a home, sir, that can't, and this bill is about economics 101. It's about freeing up uh, land. It's about providing enough supply to meet the demand. And if nothing else, sir, this bill is not about solving all of the problems. It is one uh, aspect towards solving the nexus between the supply and demand situation, in particular in the city of Auckland. And if it's good enough for the pseudo-leader of the Labour Party, uh, uh, the de facto leader of the Labour Party, Len Brown, to support this legislation, sir. If it's good enough for Len Brown to work with the Minister on pragmatic solutions for his city, sir, then why isn't it good enough for the Labour Party to support it? The Labour Party's solutions to this is, one, to oppose, because that's what they'll do to any pragmatic solution, two, to criticise, because that's just what they do and they do it so well, three, to ban Asians and get all xenophobic about it, four, to impose a capital gains tax. I could throw in a few other things, sir, if I had the time, but one of the special ones is to promise 100,000 homes in 10 years for an average of $300,000. Of course, these are homes that must levitate, must hover above the ground, because when the average section is $325,000 in Auckland, how can one build a house for $300,000? It's lunacy, it's Labour Party politics, and that's why they're scrambling around trying to find someone who might be crazy enough to stand up and lead that party because they are leading themselves into oblivion. Sir, so this is good legislation. I commend the Minister and I've been pleased to work on it. I commend it to the House. <laughs> members, order. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National, 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labor, 34 votes opposed. Green Party, 14 opposed. New Zealand First, six, six votes opposed. Māori Party, two votes in favour. Mana, one opposed. Act New Zealand, one vote in favour. United Future, one in favour. Brendan Horan, one opposed. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 63, the noes are 56. The motion is agreed to. Housing Accords and Special Housing Areas Bill, third reading. Call on Government Order of the Day, number two. Plumbers, Gas Fitters and Drain Layers Amendment Bill, interrupted debate on third reading.